My dear friend, we live in two worlds. We live in a world that is outside of ourselves, and we live in a world inside of ourselves. Now, successful living comes not from living from the outside in, the way the majority of the world tries to live, but living from the inside out. To have a world inside of ourselves that is a heaven on earth. And when we have that, it doesn't matter so much what's happening out here. What really matters on a daily basis is what is happening in here. I've had people that were high in anxiety and then would go on vacation. And the vacation really didn't do that much good for them because they took themselves with them, inside of themselves in a state of agitation. Well, if we all know that we live in two worlds, the world outside and the world inside, when faced with a life situation that is difficult or an inner feeling of unpleasant anxiety, these must be met within the realm of our own consciousness. To have a world inside of ourself that is at peace. So often when we spend our whole lives trying to change other people and the outside world, well, that just causes more turmoil in our lives. It often appears to be a natural tendency to look at life as something that could be vastly improved if we had the power to change other people. But we do not possess that power, never have and never will. And the failure to recognize that fact may lead to unnecessary inharmony and also difficulty. No matter what you're talking about, husband and wife, children and parents, co-workers, friends, they often drift apart when the rift is wide enough, and the question that invariably is asked is, how did this happen? Well, chances are very high that it happened because those involved insisted on trying to change the other. Greater compatibility with others comes only when we work hard at changing ourselves inside of ourself. When we have a peace that is contained within us, we exude that peace. When we have a harmony, we exude that harmony. When we have a love inside, we exude that love. When we have a happiness, we exude that. So this weekend, if you're living in two worlds, I invite you to try living first in the most important world, inside of yourself, and living from inside out.